then up here we can include this file on the top. So I said copy paste and it would be user data. Out here on the bottom, I'm gonna say value with the PHP echo dollar. not doing it okay because I'm doing it in the wrong way it needs to be here and here I'm gonna say PHP echo dollar e so refresh let's see what happens oh there was an error on line nine so one two three four five six seven eight and nine this is the one because we are again for good to put the semicolons Okay, here it's a zombie and here it's email ID. Now we can change it very easily, but very first we need some if and else statements for this one. So here I'm going to say PHP if dollar status is equals to equals to one. That means if the person is subscribed, then echo this. Okay. So guys, this statement will only run if the status is equal to 1, else, okay, <clears throat> out here I can say unsubscribe, so PHP, let me know if, see, if this particular thing seems confusing to you, it's very simple, let me explain you. What I'm doing is I'm running an if statement, okay? Then I'm um, just closing my PHP tags here, and then I'm writing some HTML inside the if statement. If you guys want, you don't end the PHP tags out here, and here you can say echo. I don't want to use, you know, a lot of PHP, so what I'm doing is I'm just closing it here, and then I'm just using my standard HTML. If you want, you can also do echo kind of a thing, then you don't have to uh, start and end PHP for a lot of times. You can do it just for one okay so here it says subscribe because that particular thing is one now here I'm gonna say ID will be equals to uh, PHP echo dot ID the one we will be getting from the database and here I'm gonna say action will be equals to uh, unsubscribe okay unsubscribe and out here on the top we will be doing the same thing we did with our index page so I need my connection file okay and out here I will be writing some code So here I'm gonna say if the set dollar get ID okay and is set dollar get action and then we need and is set dollar get not actually a set this could be like this action is equals to equals to on subscribe okay then again echo some blah 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 blah, blah to make sure that it's working fine we'll refresh no errors i'm gonna hit it okay leave what is this template One second. What is this? Oh, you know what? We are going to the wrong file. We need to be at edit user.php because edit one is for the newsletters. I'm sorry. Go back. There was some confusion. Again, I'm gonna hit unsubscribe. There is nothing 
from here. That's fine because we are missing the and sign up here. Okay. Once again, guys, I'm gonna hit unsubscribe. Still, there is nothing because it's not seeing any kind of changes. I'm gonna refresh it. Then I'm gonna hit. Now we are with sales. Side A. So here on the top, what I'm gonna do is uh, SQL will be equals to first we need to create dollar unsubscribe ID. Unsubscribe ID will be equals to dollar get ID. Okay. Uh, here I'm gonna say SQL will be equals to my SQL re update guest book okay set uh, status equals to zero where ID is equals to this particular variable okay limit 1 and if there is some error with that query please let us know so that we can solve it okay then I'm gonna say if dollar SQL again error location to edit user dot PHP with ID is equals to dollar subscribe ID. Let's see if this works for us. Refresh it says unknown column status. That is status. Hmm. Okay, it would be S T A T U S. First come back. Okay, I'm gonna go to my dashboard. From here, I'm gonna hit edit. I'm gonna hit unsubscribe. See, the person has been un unsubscribed now. Now you cannot send any more newsletters to it. Let's see if we can send or not. Okay, I wanna send the newsletter. I don't wanna create any one. Okay, I'm gonna hit send. And I only have three names. Though I have four people in the database, the one with the zero ID is not coming because we don't want to annoy our users if they are not subscribed. So guys, that was a very simple functionality about uh, editing a user, how to you know create, update, delete, uh, select queries. I showed you every time, everything, I'm sorry. Next time, uh, I will be showing you the link we are sending to the user for the unsubscribe. It would be writing the code for that. So anytime they will hit unsubscribe from their side, uh, one of our files will run and it will unsubscribe them. So, see you guys next time.